Art Appreciation Committee for this year. And we wanted to tell you a little bit about the project that you'll be doing with your children in the classroom. This semester we're doing Alfred Stieglitz and photography. And we feel this is a really fun project. And the most important thing is that the kids have great takeaways from what you do in class and that they have a lot of fun. So we thought we'd walk you right through it so that it'll be easy to do when you get to the classroom with your children. Now obviously we couldn't give um, cameras to everybody. So what we're doing uh, is a photographic exercise with uh, materials that we can easily access. But some of the most important things to look at, and we have all of this written down for you, so you'll have a cheat sheet as it were, is to talk to the children about the subject that they're choosing, meaning what is the item that they're going to be drawing. Actually, we're going to be using charcoal. The other thing is to have them think about, once they've chosen the subject, um, what is behind the subject in the background and whether or not that's going to be included into the visual that they're going to be producing, and also what is in the foreground, meaning what is in the front of the subject that they're going to be drawing. Additionally, you want to talk to them about focus, which is are things in crisp delineation or are they a little bit fuzzy? and whether or not they want to also interpret that in their drawings. Then, of course, we're going to be talking about vantage point, meaning from what point do you look at your subject? Are you looking at it from below, looking up, from the side, from the top, looking down? And also about lighting, um, meaning where to find the darkest parts of the image and the lightest parts and then things in between. And the reason that we've selected these few particular items is because those are important aspects of photography in general. And of course, Stieglitz was very interested in these items as well. So the goal of the project really is to give the kids a chance to take their own photo, um, but again, not with cameras. So what we've done is we've created a pre-cut frame like this, and it's black. And so we'll give the children a chance to look through it as if they're looking through the lens of a camera so that they can capture the different elements that Maury just discussed, what vantage point, the lighting, um, and all the different elements of photography. And then they'll be doing this with a partner. Then they'll be comparing what they chose. So if they chose something, a still life or a portrait or something in the classroom, they'll both choose that same visual and do their perspective on what they chose and then be able to compare notes, which will be a lot of fun in the class. So again, we're going to talk about the materials that we're going to be using. Um, we are, uh, since Stieglitz mainly worked in black and white photography, we felt that the charcoal would be a good medium to uh, work with. Uh, so we're going to be having these, uh, these square crayon-like um, uh, charcoals. And the thing is, is you might want to just go over with the kids the different ways you can draw with the charcoal, a thick line, thin line, um, dark, light, and also the fact that you can smudge it. Now, charcoal is a little bit messy, but we, we know that uh, kids probably like that. Uh, that's why we're asking that everybody bring um, an old t-shirt to cover themselves up uh, during the process. So we'll have the charcoal, we'll have the paper, uh, we'll have wipes, again, to take care of the messiness. And then, um, ultimately, we will take a, a black mounting paper um, onto which the black and white image that your children will be producing will be affixed with a spray adhesive. And so, uh, when, when the, how is this, this will be the final product, as it were, of course, with your children's drawing on this. So those are the materials that we're going to be using. And like we said, what they'll be doing is they'll be having this photo frame, and so they'll be choosing a subject. So for today, what we're going to show you is that we've just chosen this lovely bowl of gourds. And so we're going to choose them from different points of view, um, Maury and I, so that we can then compare notes and see what we chose. Um, I'm going to do a far away um, shot, and Maury's going to choose some close up, and then we'll be able to compare notes. So what I'm going to do, I think the children, they can, once they decide in pairs what their subject is going to be, they'll be just doing like this, which is sort of what a camera does with the focus. So I decided that I'm going to look at this gourd right here. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take a few minutes and make an attempt to make a drawing, and then we'll 
show you the results that we've come up with.